Hi everyone, my name is Adam and today I'm going to do a very quick outline of different methods of cataloging in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2020. This information will also apply to professional and home editions of ACDC. For many of you, this may be redundant information, but for new users, I believe this video will be very helpful. These cataloging methods we will be discussing today are within the manage mode. Let's begin with the simplest. Tagging is a binary method of cataloging. It is either on or off. To tag a file, click on a thumbnail and click on the gray check mark on the bottom right of the image. This can also be achieved from the organization panel on the right within the properties section. To bring up every file that is tagged in your database, you will open up the catalog panel on the left hand side of the user interface. Click special items on the bottom of the panel and highlight tagged. This action will present to you all of your tagged images, regardless of their location on your hard drive or hard drives. Next, let's look at ratings and labels. They are also binary, in the sense that an image contains a label or rating, but five options are available to you. Users might recognize ratings as stars in other programs. I will rate and label this image. I'm going to label it as blue and rate it as a five. To preview all the images in my database rated as 5, I will once again navigate to the left-hand catalog panel and click 5. Notice that a blue chevron appears to the left of the 5 button in the catalog. If I wanted to preview all images with a 5 rating and a blue label, I need only click the gray chevron next to the blue label. There's no limit to the amount of chevrons I can click to further refine my catalog. With both active, my list of images is condensed to reflect the criteria of my catalog. Keywords and categories. Before I describe these management tools, it is important first to mention that there is no best method of digital asset management in ACDC. The software is designed in such a way that allows the user to find the method of organization that appeals to them. Uh, this is apparent with categories and keywords. Images can have both keywords and categories at the same time. They are a hierarchical structure, which means that the category of car, for example, can have the subcategory of Pontiac or that a keyword can be Pontiac with the sub-keyword of blue. Categories and keywords do the same things. In this folder, I have a group of images of birds. To create a category, right-click on the category panel. I'm going to create an insect category. I'm going to click on my image of a praying mantis and add it to this category. Let's now add a keyword. I'm going to right click keywords and add a keyword. I'm then going to right click on that same keyword and add a sub keyword. I will then check both boxes to give it these two keywords. Navigating back to the catalog panel, let's click the insect category. Three images appear with that category applied. Let's then click the mantis keyword chevron. And finally, the sub keyword chevron here. Each application changing our displayed images. In a future video, I will go over searches and smart collections, but today that shows how one can apply and use those applications to refine what is displayed. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.